And then pull my pants down and be like, you got one of these? That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Shit, I thought I had a third leg. Hey! Michael Blaustein, performing stand-up comedy where I will tell you, guys, August 25th to 26th, I'll be in Oxnard, California. Go get tickets. Hey, September 805, pull up. Boop, boop, boop. September 7th to the 9th, I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin at Comedy on State. God damn, those tickets are going quick, so go get them before you can't. September 15th to the 17th, I'll be in Irvine, California. Those tickets are going crazy, too. Um, and then September 22nd, I'll be in Los Angeles, California. The very, very limited seating, so go get tickets. Um, and then uh, September 23rd, announcement. Santa Barbara. I'll be in Santa Barbara at the La, La, what is it? How do you pronounce Libero. it? Libero. Thank you. I'll I did in, it. It's a great theater. Michael was there. I was. So fun. So go do it. Uh, tickets are on sale right, right now. September 28th to the 30th. Denver, Colorado. I'm recording my special. It's September 30th. Special. One show is already sold out. The second one's almost sold out. So go get tickets. And then the three shows before those shows in Denver are all the warm shows. Same material. It's going to be awesome. So come to those shows as well. Um, October 5th to the 7th, I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee. And there are more and more dates. On the website. So go. Blowercomedy.com. That is blowercomedy.com. This is a podcast. This is a pod. We're in. We're in. We're this in. is a pod. I'm back in the studio. I'm, I'm jacked up. I'm jacked, jacked up, up on Mountain Dew. Dude, for speaking of Jack, Jack, my man came. Oh, Jack. Social yes. media guy. Jack, social media guy. How long did you go without coming? It was like 15, 16 days. It's How many minutes? You know the seconds, you fucking horny freak. <laughs> yeah, you know what the, you know the countdown know. sticker on Instagram? What, what you had that on your fucking forehead. <laughs> <laughs> what time did you come at, and what did you come to? I went right in the shower when I got home. And from, from where? Drink your milk coke. Pizza. Right as you got home? Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't handle it. Yeah, that traffic on the 405 <laughs> on a Friday was crazy. Insane. Somebody yeah, touched me. Hour and six minutes to get home. Wait, but this is a good question. Do you... So you... Jer chose to jerk off in the shower. It wasn't like a necessity. Do you guys do that? Like, if you had the option, I jerk off in the sink. What are y'all thinking? About? Actually, since I've yeah. been, I don't jerk off in the sink anymore. Thank God. No, that was just a girlfriend activity. Because I would be downstairs and be like, Let me go. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like. Honestly, we were just talking off mic how much we both want girlfriends. Or I don't want to put you in it. I want a girlfriend so bad. But it, this, the, this is the thing. But when you get one, the whole jerk off thing is a nightmare. Like you have to jerk off behind a stove, and you're like, yeah. I used to have this idea. You know, you know the fucking uh, the goddamn. Uh, you feel like you're like cheating. You're like, I'm gonna be in there uh, editing clips. I'm gonna be editing cock. Co oh, uh, hold uh, up. Uh, 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 uh. Up the contrast. Contrast. <laughs> go ahead, Jack. Uh, so like. I didn't want to go in the faster bed to it because <laughs> yeah, we were all more. You better fucking go, dude. <laughs> I didn't want to go in the bed because I, I thought it was gonna be like a safety hazard. I didn't know where safety hazard. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna fill up a kid pool. <laughs> yeah. Hold up, can't say that. <laughs> no. So I knew a shower was the best bet, and I I've got like a tub shower. I yeah. was standing in the back. It hit the front of the wall. No, it, it was, didn't. Yeah, I swear to God, you cracked a tile. I swear to God, holy you shit, guys dude. Try it. This is awesome NASA it? shit, dude. Blast off. <laughs> did you so when you hit the thing, did you move? Was it like a like a fire hose? <laughs> you yeah, audibly moaned, didn't back. you? What's up? You audibly moaned, didn't you? Yeah, it was a it was a big one. <laughs> did your did your did your balls uh hurt? Like hurt after? Because I remember when I remember, I, I think I went like four or five days at the most, and my my balls were starting to little like throb. No, they didn't hurt, but oh. they visibly got smaller. After I nuded. Yeah, of course. It was <laughs> so like, full up. <laughs> like, where did you think cum came from? <laughs> but I didn't know they get smaller. Do they That's get bigger up? up. Do they get I bigger think so. What's that? There's a episode on, on South Park, Randy Marsh's balls yeah. in the wheelbarrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what Jack was like? Yeah. That's what I was like in Ibiza. Ibiza. Do they get, like. do, this might be the dumbest question ever, but do they honestly get bigger? Cause I, like, does the, at some point, does the semen production stop? Because your body's like, all right, we are full. Yeah, we're at capacity. Yeah, it's like filling up a Gatorade bottle. At some yeah. point, you're just, it's we done. You gotta get a self storage unit. 100%. Who uses those? Uh, serial killers. Yeah, but like, when, when are you ever like, I'm gonna go down to the storage unit? Well, that's where you cheat on your wife. True. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they do not actually get bigger, they'll get more tender and that's more sensitive, but yes. they won't get bigger because it's a constant, it's a factory line in your balls, constantly producing new sport, sperm. 100,000 sperm a minute get produced 24-7. Per minute? Dude, my hey. sperm is doing views. That's a lot. <laughs> also, hold on, you do it, hold on, 100,000 per minute? Yeah. And, and the audacity for people to be like, oh, why do men think about sex so much? We need to get it out. It's <laughs> natural. Think about that. 100,000 fucking fishes in your goddamn sperm yeah. every goddamn minute. Oh, wait, like, all you do is think about sex. Go make a sandwich. I gotta come. <laughs> <laughs> great you great sound bite. Thank God someone laughed. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 of course. No, 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 of course. Where did it go, though? 
Uh, what? it gets it gets die it dies off. So it takes three months for sperm oh. to mature, and then the ones that you know don't get Hold come on. out, they front just of the line die soldiers and absorbed back into the three body, months you know? to mature. Yeah. So none of my sperm are ever mature because they get out. Well, I yeah. think it's the no, they're they are because Hold they're on. not mature. They're not in the ready to front of the line of the war until they're at the three month mark. It's like, all right, you're ready. So oh, what really? you're shooting, what you're shooting out has been aged in a barrel for about three months. True. So yes. my Merlot come is ready yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hold up. Yeah, because once it once it becomes wow. mature, it gets moved to a new place. In front the, line. Yeah, the front graduates. Lines. Yeah. yeah. Oh um, wow, dude, guys, we've been talking about sperm for five years, and we never looked this up. We're learning about our bodies. If you look up the full name of sperm, it's spermatosa. I think we already looked at this. Yes. Spermatosa? It's something crazy. Spermatosa. Uh, sperm spermatosa. Spermatosa. Come here, girl. You want the First spermatosa? Sperm. That sounds like an island of Ibiza. Toes. Toes. Uh, feet. Guys. You know what's funny? I went on <laughs> a date. That's where sperm goes. I went on a date and this girl goes, she's like, yeah, like I, you have like a podcast, I think. I love. <laughs> yeah, I Please think. Please downplay. You looked it up! Right. Right, right, right. But then she, the next question, she goes. Does your friend really have a foot fetish? I'm like, <laughs> you know how many layers deep you got to know on this podcast True. to know about the foot thing? Yeah. Not very. I think it's pretty <laughs> surface level. I think, I think you I type think in stiff socks. Yeah. You, what happens if you go on Google and type in stiff socks podcast? What's like the next recommended search down? Stiff socks, stiff socks podcast, stiff socks podcast host, stiff socks merch, stiff socks gape. All right. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love that. First of all, Sip Sox merch. Can we, we got to, we got to, we got to get, get, get on board. Back to school merch, Halloween merch. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so what did you jerk off to, Jack? Um, if you say honestly, your brain, dude, I'll break this camera. I fucking homepage. I was looking, you know, like the thumbnails when it just like changes. <laughs> Bro was jerking off the gifts. Are you kidding me? Dude, can, yeah. I, can I say I something, dude? I, you, you guys, you guys know, you guys know that I'm all about stimuli when I'm jerking off. I, dude, the last time I jerked off, I didn't leave the homepage. Yeah, I just works. kept putting the mouse over moving stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this and, is dude, psycho. No, it's not, no, it's not. Because it's I, I was I was gooning with one screen, but there's multiple screens within the screen. So I had but they don't move unless the mouse is over it. That's what no? I mean. So, but yeah, I'm 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 playing that whack-a-mole like air with my traffic cock. controller over here. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> but it's like I'm playing whack-a-mole, but it's fun because I'm like because you go over here and it's, and, and you go over here and it's like, eh, like it's like it's yeah. there's so much. Don't they start from the beginning though? No, so you're watching. Right the no, best no, they they no. might show it quick. Like she doesn't do the full doorbell, but you're ding, you know. But they they get like enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They got it on lock. That's like what Netflix tries to do when you like hover on a show for too long. It shows like a minute and a half. Get the tits. First of all. Shut up, Netflix. Every like every time you go to the thing, it's play the trailer. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. I it, it, does no one else. It, it, it's so loud every single time. I, <laughs> can I just peruse without there being like a like a Lindsay Lohan fucking documentary what, what trailer? About, what about the volume button? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Sorry, I got you. I got you. Friction. Got you. Yeah, I got you. But you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I want to choose. Okay. Do you know how like when you're scrolling on on Instagram and you if you click then all of a sudden it's everything's unmuted? Yep. Do that. Okay. Start with mute. Mm -hmm. Don't start, start with, with unmute. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to know that there's a new fucking it's, you know Fast and Furious 12, 13. Also, I watched the first Fast and Furious when I was in Indianapolis. The first one? The very first one because my buddy uh, Neil Ghost who opens for me, very funny comic. Look him up. Uh, he never saw it, so we were like, "Fuck it, let's watch it." By the way, Indianapolis guys, Just so fun. Thank two you so guys much. in Indianapolis watching Fast and the Furious. Here's here's worse. Three guys. Y'all are a little <laughs> fast in the bike. Curious. God damn, dude. There is a lady on that on the first one, and I I I do not know her name. She's an actress, obviously. She is Megan uh, Fox. Pa no, no, she was in Transformers. No, Transformers. She was uh, Paul Walker's love interest. She was in twelve of them. I just um, never. Is it Michelle Rodriguez? Nope, the other one. Michelle Rodriguez is so angry, hot in the yeah. first one. It's crazy. Uh, Jordana Brewster. Bitch! I don't <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully. Respectfully. Pull it up. Pull it up. God! That is your type. Fuck! <laughs> Got me, dude. Okay. Can I, I'm, I'm being serious, and I know it says a hundred times. The reason that that is my type is I can't express to you how much that looks like my mom when she was 23 years old. <laughs> like, that is my mom at 23. I'll say it again. That was my mom at yeah, 23. Yeah, 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 dude, yeah. olive skin, long, dark hair, just me you baking inside of her. Yeah, I said it. 
when you had a delivery date, we were like, let me get a few more days in here. Oh, I didn't even want to leave. Let oh, me extend my trip. Hundred <laughs> percent. I was holding on the fallopians. I like it in here. Do I hang pictures and shit? Yo, what if you? Okay, it doesn't matter. Here's the thing. I look what? at photos of my mom back in the day, and I want. And uh, no, you had set. No, I want it. I because I, I'm looking at it through, through the scope of Michael Blouse on. I go. Thank you. No, 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 no. Thank no, oh. this is not towards your point at all. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm saying I'm looking at it through the scope of your eyes. Be like, is my mom hot back in the day? And I yeah, go, yeah. no, that's still my mom. But it's she, not. But it's not yet. That's my point. Oh. When your mom is 25, that is not your mom yet. You're not even in the deep recesses of her brain. You're an egg that's, that's it's like, you know, way down in the fallopians. I don't know where fucking eggs live, but way down. You're not, a you're- Chicken that's coop. A hundred percent. You're not there yet. That's not your mom. Right. No, I get that. But even if so, I'm looking at, if I looked at my mom's yearbook and I didn't know my mom was on there, I don't- like, Which I, yearbook? Say college. Yes, college, cool. college yearbook, <laughs> college, good call, uh, back when she was a senior at UC Santa Barbara. That's where she went? Yeah. Plug it, Michael. Libero Theater. Thank you. <laughs> August 20... Nope. September 23rd. Anyways, sorry. I derailed the story for nothing. Uh, no, okay, so good your reason. Your mom... Uh, Santa, okay, so you look back... I just, I just, I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. I, I was like, yeah, that's my mom. She was, she looked good, but she, stop, but she, but I, oh, <laughs> what are you, <laughs> don't try to walk me down this yeah. incestual lane. Welcome back to my podcast called Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> is your mom hot? Gotcha. Uh, she is. I mean, respectfully, you know, yeah, I, mean? I mean, she looks I'm, good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but there's a difference between somebody who looks good and somebody who looks like, God damn. Yeah, but you can look at your mom and say it. You can look at your <laughs> say it. You can look at your mom and be like she was a very attractive woman. You can do that. Correct. Correct. But that's where you stop. No. Me personally. Oh, you go, she was a very attractive woman. I also, would be. <laughs> not then. Then. This is in my act. I don't care. I'll do the whole fucking joke right now. Back then. I, if time machine, back then, I'm in. And also. This is a part of the joke I just stopped doing, but I, I do believe this. Do you know how easy it would be to game up your mom? Knowing what you know now? You know everything about this woman. Everything. 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 Oh, who's your favorite Beatle? Ringo Starr. How'd you know? I don't know. <laughs> lucky guess. Let me beat in your fucking Volkswagen Beetle. How'd you know I had that? Oh, uh, lucky guess again. She painted like a saddle shoe. So you've thought about this. Sir. Sir, good. Do you want to know in her the kinks, shower? Though? Huh? You what? don't want to know her kinks. I know her kinks. Oh, men who leave her. That was rude. <laughs> no, that was, it wasn't. That was not, that was nice. not rude. That was not good. No, no, no. I'm Listen, sorry. rude she's and a nice funny. Lady. Very close together, but that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> she's a nice lady. She's a sweetheart. God damn. You don't want to make my day great. What? Dare I say, gooder? What? Gooder sunglasses! What are they? They're 100% polarized sunglasses and only $25 or are lightweight and I love how comfortable they are and they're easy to wear all day and they don't fall off my face. I am absolutely, dare I say, sick of it when glasses fall off my face. Well, I play golf. because you got too much head! <laughs> <laughs> I love them. All right, dude. They're great for running, cycling, working out, golfing. Like I said before, dude, going to the beach, the beach. I'm going to the beach in like a week and a half with my family. I'm bringing two pairs. Dare I say two pairs. I freaking love them, dude. Two pairs? Look, you're only down 50 bucks if you lose both of them. Who gives a shit? Hey, they look That's good. the price of a Postmates. That's what I'm saying. Dude, they're affordable. Good. They're great. And again, 100% polarized, dude. They fit perfectly underneath my freaking hat, dude, for exercise to errands to sunset, dude. I love Gooders. Look, okay. I'm going to go off script here. Uh-oh. They got a lot of styles. It's not just like a generic, like they have every style you can imagine. Yeah. So if you're like, I don't even need sunglasses, check again. Yeah. Why don't Look, you go? Oh, oh, you know what? Those might fit my fancy. Like you want like them big fucking Polaroids, you know, some Papa's Fritas that you want to bust out at the beach. Uh-huh. You want to get crazy with it? They yeah. got that. But you want to go subtle with it? They got that. Look, if you want to support the show, pick up a pair. Gooder is giving Sip Sox listeners, and that's you guys, you. free shipping on your first order. Wow. I threw a link down there in the show notes. You go check them out, dude. Go to gooder.com slash socks. Use code SOCKS for free shipping. They also offer 30-day money-back guarantee with 100% satisfaction. Um, yeah, find your pair at gooder.com backslash socks. Use promo code SOCKS for free shipping. You know what I'm thinking right now, though? Head. How do you spell gooder? 
R-U-D-G-O-O-D-R. Not E-R, guys. Just R. God damn. Speaking of rude, Uh-oh. can I bring this up? You can do whatever you want. Oh, this nice. Is, this is our show. <laughs> <laughs> you, like three weeks ago, told us some lady said something you, to you so mean oh, that was worse than wet wet. It was. Worse, which also, I don't, I think we like, there was, that was a period on the Sip Sox podcast, Wet Wet. That was like a solid three week run. Still to this day is an insane thing. Hey, insane. like, we got to end things. Oh, I get it. Okay, cool. Brain done. Why? Oh, you don't need to tell me this uh-huh. because you do not make me fully wet. Yep. You make me wet, but you don't make me wet, wet is a crazy thing to say. It's literally what a woman said to me mid pandemic. And here's the funny thing. So, I mean, you know, the new fans will recap. I liked her a lot. Oh, yeah. And I was like, wow, this like this could might be a thing. She literally called me. She alley-ooped you and was like, so you don't make me. You, you make, make me wet, wet but, but you, you don't, don't make, make me, me wet, wet, wet. Was what she said to and me. That's fucked up because uh, it's everything. Sh- it, it's short, but it stings. You get it. You're like, I get what you're trying to say, but like, yeah. why so mean? But you just, I get what she was saying. But you don't, you just don't have to say it to me. You don't have to say that. It would like be, it would literally be like, if you don't want to see a woman anymore, right? Or, or your girlfriend, whatever. <clears throat> and you want to break up with her. And you have like a bucket of reasons. Of course. Lie. You do. Correct. But you don't have to, you can get the sentiment of it, but not say it. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right, like you can right, be right, like, right, right, oh, right, I'm right. just like, I'm, uh, we, I feel like we could have better chemistry and I feel like. Uh, blah blah blah, whatever. That means we don't fuck well, and I see other bitches in tr- Trader Joe's, yeah. and I'm trying to fuck them in front it's of like, avocados. <laughs> but you don't say that, right? It's like when the waiter you hate your food, and they're like, how is he? You're like, it's great. Correct. Or or everybody you, leaves there happy. You talk shit behind their yes. back. Tell that that's a yes. group chat yeah. text right Correct. there, not to you, but Correct. to our friends. He was good, but he made me wet, but not like wet wet. And then I was like, oh my god, slay a bitch. <laughs> right. Exclamation point. Also, I made you wet. Congrats, because there's definitely I didn't even think about this point. There's definitely dudes that didn't make you wet at all. So yeah. I got, at least I got a halfway. Yeah. If it'll make you wet, wet. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I don't do the weird chance things of... your fucking uncle did you to make you wet. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Actually, no, there I'm not sorry. There was a chance of precipitation in the air those 100%. nights. 100%. You want monsoon? You know what? Monpoon. Maybe. Bring on the fucking podcast. Just joking. She gets a fucking... But this this was oh, a big this, moment. Oh, this was a big moment. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why I didn't think about this other story that I'm telling you and I'd like to give you this story and you let me know if you think it's worse. I actually think it's worse. I literally forgot the story existed. I went to Virginia Beach, did shows, and my buddy who went to acting school with, with me, based in Virginia Beach, he did stand up too. He did some spots on the show and he told me this story and I was like, holy fuck. I can't believe I never told this story in this goddamn podcast. Something that happened to you. You Correct. forgot that happened. Correct. So I have to give you a little bit of backstory so you guys can fully get emotionally invested into the story. So... Um, I was going to acting conservatory. This is when I l- used to live in New York. And there was a, a, a woman in my class mm-hmm. who was actually, funny enough, looks like that actress. Yeah. She, like my type exactly. Like 5'2", looks like my mom. Hot, dark hair, very, very hot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> she was from Columbia, South Carolina. I remember this is thing. She had a little twang to her. Hey, oh. hey, how y'all doing? Not that deep, you know, for the story she talked to. Yeah, yeah, Anyways, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we Cracker had Barrel th- type beat. 100%. So we had a thing. Um, and then we all went to this other class after we graduated. You had called, a thing, meaning you guys were hooking up for a little bit. No, 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 no. I had a thing for her. Ah, we never ah, did ah. anything in yeah, that yeah, two yeah. years. But okay. a lot of flirting, but but we never yeah. got the right. So then we the next year we did this thing called the master class, um, which is like a step up from the regular class, right? So it's a smaller class, and we're doing like more high-level plays, whatever the fuck, right? So towards the end of that semester, <clears throat> the acting teacher makes me and this girl... Uh, scene partners. So when you're scene partners, you spend a ton of time together outside of class. You have to go over a bunch of, you have to go over the play, blah, 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 make yeah, choices, yeah, yeah. whatever, whatever. So you're doing a lot of practice. Yep. So during all that practice, things get a little hot and heavy during the, uh, during the practices. We don't really, nothing happens, but we're like flirting, like, and the scene's a little heavy. So we're getting Do you emotional. Remember the, what it was from? I wish I did do it. I don't Bugs know, life. Streetcart Name Desire, <laughs> Bugs Life, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're presenting this scene in class. Mm-hmm. So we're in the uh, class, and we have to go in the back. There's another room. It's like a sort of a closet, a small thing. Hey. To, I know, I know, I know. To get emotionally. The Rafferty pre- Center? Hey, pretty much. It's like, yeah. it's, it's literally like <laughs> the Rafferty 
<laughs> we got only Rafferty Center merch. So it's like, but it's it's essentially like uh, the Rafferty Center, but in our but in the acting school. Yeah. So it's just like small little room, and you get emotionally prepped, and you come out into the main room and do the scene. So we're in the prep room, and we're prepping, we're prepping, and for some reason, dude, we both turn and we start like making out feverishly, oh. kind of like Trevor Wallace type shit, like kind of publicly. You, hey, oh, hey, yeah. So, okay. so, so let me walk you through this. So there's like 35 people and a teacher in the next room and they're all quiet waiting for us to emotionally prep. So we're making out heavy because this is like three years of buildup. Yeah. And we're making out in that room. <clears throat> so, so we had that. So it's kind of like this weird moment and we, whatever, whatever. We come out and we do the scene, whatever. The next day is uh, her birthday party. And this is around Christmas, okay? So Capricorn, she, legend, legend. So this is around Christmas. So New York is New York is like you know Christmas it out. It's a beautiful Christmas in New York. It's beautiful. There's beautiful, lights everywhere. Bit sexy, you know. Ooh, yeah. wow, yeah. Wife, maybe. Okay. So she goes, "Hey, come to my party." I say, "Not a problem." I go into her, go into her birthday party, and uh, and she's wearing this like gold dress. Boy, hey, stop. Goldie me, locks. Goldie cocks. Tell him again. <laughs> Sexual innuendo. Holy cunt. <laughs> Gold dress. Honestly, if I walked in, I'd be like, this is not the vibe. It's red or green, bitch. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, she's from Columbia, South Carolina. Dude, her fucking dad was a tree. Who, who fucking knows? <laughs> so, so, she, so, but my point is, she's looking fucking bad. Like, just tell him. There's like gold, like really short. Uh, dress. Did it tight. have? Was it like fuzzy at the end? No, no, no. You nothing. know what I'm about? It was dresses yeah. like fuzzy at the end. Yeah. How's going on there? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like don't know. I use it as a towel. Goddamn. So hold up. It. She's looking fucking hot. Like just gold stilettos, all gold out, right? So <clears throat> it's her birthday. So I walk in. We start talking, whatever, and then we start dancing. So it just and we danced the whole night. So it seems like, oh, I'm her birthday. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I'm the guy tonight. Correct. I'm Hands the guy. Hands off, everybody. Don't fucking touch my yeah. gold. Don't touch this fucking Oscar of a bitch, right? She's California. I'm the gold rush. I'm coming. Let me sift through that cooter. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> I, I, we're, we're gonna yeah, get it. We yeah, did yeah. it. So, uh, so late at night, you know, two in the morning, whatever. Hey. Do you want to come back to my place? This was at her house or no? No, no. This was at like a bar. Gotcha. She gotcha, goes, gotcha, you want gotcha. to come back to my house? There and you. I said, uh, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. No, sorry. I have plans at 205. Yeah, I have to study the Sothoris. That's not even a word. <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. No, Sothoris is a word. Yeah, but I said it really fucking like Bugs Bunny. Sothoris. <laughs> <laughs> is that Bugs Bunny? Doesn't matter. Somebody. Elmer Fudd? That's what I wanted. Put that guy behind bars. I taught, I taught, put a cat. You're 98 years old. <laughs> I mean, you should see a therapist. You should see, turn your gun around and shoot yourself. He's also, <laughs> <laughs> he's like three feet tall. Yeah, he's tall. No hose? He's tall. I taught, I taught, shut up. Go get a wife. Something. Honestly. Or a fleshlight. Betterhelp.com. Put it promo, in. Promo code talk. So we go back Penis. to her place. So we start talking. We have a fucking one cocktail. Let me start making out. And it's good. She mm -hmm. can kiss well. It's fucking awesome, right? She pushes me on the couch. Oh. Kind of hot, right? Not like an aggressive one. Just like, Hold hey, get up. on the couch, big daddy. Mama's about to go to fucking work. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Pushes me down, starts kissing my neck, takes my shirt off, which I kind of like. When she like takes my shirt off, takes my shirt off, right? Kissing all down my fucking shoes. She's going down and down and down and down and down, right? She starts undoing my belt. Right? And what's under that? Take a guess. <laughs> What's on the first floor of that apartment? Cock. So, so shirts off. So shirts she's on doing a different kind of Christmas present. Oh, she's unwrapping it, Daddy. Hey. So she, <clears throat> so she starts to go right, and then she gets my pants probably like ten percent down. So you could see like all of my cock. Just joking. So you could see like <laughs> you know you could see like half the right. base. So it, the base. So it's not out yet. She stops. She looks at me <clears throat> from that angle. She goes, Michael, I have to tell you something. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh, fuck. This is like a disease or she's going to tell me she like loves me. Like, I don't know what this is. She goes, I need to tell you something. And I go, yeah. And she goes, you're not funny. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, wait, what? 
<laughs> what the fuck's the... What? Uh, what? I... She does... What? what, what, what? Yeah. yeah. The, the, I, yeah. The, I... I dude, yeah. couldn't... If there was 20 options in front of me of what I thought she would say, that's not what I thought it would have been. Sir? Yeah. Me too. What? She goes, you're not funny. Right? And then I'm in like shock because Wait, uh, go ahead. No, no, no. I oh no, I'll, no. I'll, I'll, okay. Yeah. And I'm in like shock, obviously. So I'm like, this is not even it's similar to your brain. It's similar to everyone's brain when I tell them the story. It's like that wasn't even in the realm of possibilities. Were you cracking jokes when she was like taking <clears throat> her pants off? No. That's what I mean. <clears throat> you were just posted up. Yeah, it would have made more sense if I was like riffing with her and she's like, Can you just you're not come on? Like, right, right, right. Whatever. That's what I thought. But y'all no. were in sexual land. She's going to take your pants off. Dog, we were in sexual land. And when I'm in sexual land, I'm not, that, that's no not, a, jokes, it's yeah. not a jokey joke. Yeah. Right. I try not to be too, but I had a funny thing. We'll talk yeah, about it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but like, obviously, like, we're in that world. We're like different. We're, you know, different in some aspects. So, of course. So with you, maybe I could see you like, ah, like fucking around a little bit, whatever. But I try not to be in that lamp right. because you just want that, that hot sexual chemistry. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes yeah. something will, and you, you remember a joke or something. You just got to say it. Yeah. That's okay. <clears throat> but for me, I, I, gen I generally don't do that. So there was, we weren't riffing. So there was no, there was no context in which, in, in which she would say that at all. And then I'm just like, I'm in shock. And then I'm like, hold on. What like what and I, then I then I'm like I sit up and I'm like why would you like, what what do you, you start like, showing her clips This is me at the <laughs> cellar last night I'm fucking crushed Here here's the 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 reason I mean multiple reasons why this is horrendous But I was like I wasn't even a year into comedy Okay I I like was just I was doing like I I. I was not were good. You, were you a funny guy in class? Like, like, like with the scenes, would you kind of just like riff a little back and forth with her? Not, not really. I mean, I was pretty like, it wasn't like, a, oh, this is a funny class. It was very intense. And mm. my teacher was like very intense. So like sometimes, but like it wasn't a, it wasn't a, a place to be funny. It was a place to like learn how to act. Right. But when you were like with her, would you kind of like riff at all or? Probably. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Prob it wasn't, it wasn't like I was never trying to be funny or never was funny in front of her and classmates or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was very like intermittently. It wasn't like I was, and I would tell you guys if I was like bombing or whatever, but like it was just like some quips here or there, whatever the fuck. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but <clears throat> the, so she said, man, I was like, so I was so taken aback. I literally just like st I stood up and I was like, "What? What are you even talking about?" <laughs> and she was like, "She was like, oh, there was a school stand-up show that me and my buddy from Virginia Beach, PJ oh. Walsh, and my other buddy uh, Brian Rogers. So us three, they were doing stand-up before me, and I sort of just started. So we did like a stand-up show. We invited the whole class. Now I'm remembering. So I, you know, it's like I was like probably seven, eight months in a stand-up. I probably did fine." But How maybe long did she, you do like five or something. I think about, I think I did like ten. Uh, yeah. yeah, so it was it was probably fine. My point is, is like there was there was I guess there was something that she could grab from to like make that assessment. But it was just like I don't. It was such the weirdest time and the worst time and a very similar to wet wet where I'm like, is this on purpose? Like, uh, is this is this thing on purpose yeah, yeah, yeah. to like? To, to drop me down a level or like, oh, I, I don't know. So I stood up and I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, I, I don't know. Like, I just, I, I think that, that you think that you're funny <sighs> and, and I, you know, I, you're not funny. The worst is she was sitting on that thought all night. Correct. And that's when she, maybe longer, maybe longer. You may, yeah, probably. And it's just weird. And to this day, I'm like, I don't, I don't know why she would pick this moment to tell me. I don't even know. But it gets, it doesn't, I don't know if it gets worse, but there's more to it. God damn. This next ad is what? FitBot, dude. FitBot! What is it, dude? FitBot is an app that's incredible, guys. I use it daily, so does Gabe. It's a FitBot, okay? It builds a dynamic workout plan just for you and optimizes future workouts based on your personal progress. We travel all the freaking time, dude. This app is incredible for when I'm in a freaking Airbnb and there's no weights, no gym, because you can use this to just use your body workouts, man. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, what's cool, because it does the thing where it, you can select what kind of equipment you have available to you, but it still is tracking like which workouts you've already done for the week. So yep. let's say you're in LA on Wednesday at the gym and you get your chest and arms workout done, mm. and then you're in 
Des Moines uh, over the weekend and you're like, I need Beautiful to do a place. Light, it'll still be like, oh, you Just need to do some cows. today. Here's what you can do with your available equipment. So you can always keep progressing and stuff uh, wherever you are. And it makes it very easy to do. And it's great because they just know exactly what you have around you. You might not have a gym, but bro, you out here just, you know, putting up a bench, a real bench. They got it. Sometimes you can lift a hoe. Guys, keep track of your achievements and personal best with FitBot's progress tracking charts. Learn new movements the right way with over a thousand exercises. It demonstrations. It gives you the videos. Um, it's incredible. A lot of people are like, man, the, the friction of starting to work out is like, I don't know the right form. But this app is incredible because it just literally just shows you the right form. Yeah. So highly, highly recommend. So wherever you are in your fitness journey, dude, get the most out of every workout with FitBot. Okay, get 25% off your subscription at fitbod.me slash socks. Guys, that is 25% off your subscription at fitbod.me slash socks. F-I-T-B-O-D dot me, M-E slash socks. It is severely cheaper than getting a personal trainer. It's, dude, I think one year of this is cheaper than one personal training session. 100%. God damn. So eventually we like kind of talk back and forth and it's like obviously the, the momentum and the moments are done. Like I'm not oh, going to yeah. fucking hook this woman. <clears throat> and it's also late as fuck. It's also probably like 3.34 in the morning. So we ended up just like going to sleep. Like we were going to maybe fuck or maybe get okay, head, whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah. But we ended up just like going to sleep, right? She wakes me up at about 6.30 in the morning. So we're talking about I'm like two and a half hours sleep. And I'm, you know, I'm like hungover and shit. She wakes me up. She's like, um, hey, can you help me walk my dog? Uh. Help you walk your dog. I'll kill your dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you're not dead. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still in fear. I, I got no sleep. I'm up all night. Because it's like right when you first start comedy, so you go, you go, maybe I'm not funny. Maybe I'm not going to make it. Maybe, yeah. like, it's like, I mean, I mean, I mean, like having an anxiety attack for two and a half hours. I didn't sleep. Yeah. So I'm like, and then I'm like, dude, okay, okay. It's yeah. like, you can't walk your dog. You should have just went sorry, out dog. to walk with her and then just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we walk her dog. And eventually it's like time it's time for us to go. And I tell her like what train I'm taking. She goes, Oh, I'm taking that train too. The fuck? I'm like, dude, all right. So we get on the train together and we start talking about it again. And she's she like, brings yeah. it up or you bring it up? I'm pretty sure I brought it up. You're just being like, wow, that was weird. You yeah, why would that. you do that? Like yeah, yeah, essentially yeah. kind of like, why would you do that, right? Yeah. And she goes, She goes, I don't, I don't know. You just, you know, you're just not funny. And I'm like, and then I am a, and then I'm like more cognizant, because it's like daytime. And I go, you know what? You're not funny. How do you, how can you assess that I'm not funny? This has been a theme funny? in your life. Yeah, yeah. When they go, I'm autistic, you go, I'm autistic. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, but I'm like, how can you assess that I'm not funny when you're not funny? She goes, no, I'm funny. And then uh... we're yelling, we're yelling. I'm not shitty, dog. We are on the D train. It might be like seven in the morning, eight in the morning. We are yelling. We are yelling. I go, you're not fucking funny. I goes, maybe in your fucking hillbilly town, you're fucking funny, but you're not funny. You have never made anyone in the class laugh ever. She goes, she goes, I have, I have. So we're like, we're dog, we're like yelling on the fucking D train. Isn't and, that funny? There's just like some mom like covering her son's ears, like, honey, don't look, there's crackheads again. <laughs> and it's just two people yelling about who's funnier. Dude. And then for some odd reason, we're both getting off on West 4th. I have no fucking idea where we're getting off the same, the same train stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we walk up and we're still like, we're silent at this point, right? And, and, sorry, take a second back. So after she said that to me when we were in her apartment, I don't know how to act. This is a big thing. I don't, cause like when someone says you're not funny, whatever, you're like, all right, now, so do we just, like, what do I say? I, cause anything, anything you say could be sort of interpreted as funny. It was just like, it was such a, you don't know how to act anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I was like sort of on the train. I was like sort of silent. We got in the fight. And then I'm walking up the stairs and I still don't know what to say. Because I'm like, how do you, you know, whatever. And I say something. And then she goes, see, you're trying to do it again. The funny? Yes. Oh, God, this girl sounds terrible. Ter no, she's terrible. So this is the hilarious part. We get to the top of the stairs and we're still kind of fighting. Yeah. And then we start making out for like... Four minutes. Like, I do, what? I don't fucking know. I thought know, you guys but... were going to go to like an open mic or something. Like, prove it, bitch. Bill's <laughs> Lantern, now go. Dude, and we start like making it like feverishly. It was. How did that happen? No, you're not funny. Oh, I'll show you fucking funny. Just, oh, yeah, because it was oh, all, for real. God. It was. It was like, it was, it's, it was like a movie when people, because like, I'm not that dude. Like when I, I mean, I obviously was, but like now, you know, in the movies when they have like makeup sex, where like, 
that doesn't really like exist in me. Yeah, when yeah, I'm like yeah. mad at you, it kind of like cuts off, and I'm just like I'm I'm just mad at you. But I don't even know what the fuck happened. Man. I guess it was just we had all this built up shit for like over three years. We started making out again, and that was that was the end of it. But I will. But that stuck That's with me, so dog. Funny. That stuck with me for like years. Of like every time I would bomb when I first started, like. In like in the like a three year Her, after that, that would correct. pop in the head. Correct. Wow. It fucked with me, dude. It fucked me. Oh, maybe may, like maybe she's right. Maybe I, maybe she saw something I didn't see. Maybe but the I'm, fact that you were able to keep doing it, yeah, let you know something inside of you is like, nah, I'm on to something here. <sighs> you sold out a weekend in Indianapolis. Hey! Who the funny now, bitch? Rick, I know, dude. I saw. What the- is she doing? Making sweet tea with her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Low hanging fruit. God, dude. It was it was such. It was so crazy. Michael, you're not funny. Awesome. Tell me, tell me that after I come. Like, dude, what? after you came, you be like, yeah, I know. That's it. Yeah, but like, cool, man. I'm not funny. Yeah, awesome, yeah, dude. Yeah. Ha ha hoo hoo lol. Who gives Uber. a shit? <laughs> <laughs> dude, that is okay. So after that whole thing, is that worse than wet wet? Or is that um, or is I, that on the same I think, is that on par? I think I'm going wet, wet still. Really? Because that's a moment of time to where, like, well, I don't know. They, they, I don't know. I, I, have, I have a take on this. Please. Yes. I think wet, wet is worse because wow, okay. with, with this one, and as proven by the story, you can argue this point. You can still hold a part of you that's like, no, fuck you. You're wrong. I just sold out Indianapolis. You cannot But this argue is also with, 12 years later. You cannot argue uh, with her about like did, that you didn't get her wet enough you know what i mean like that's just like that's there is no you can't justify that in your head you can't be like oh no i did get you wet wet you she said you did well I, I think it would be him hooking up with another woman and she's like oh my god i'm so wet for you and you're like fucking voice memo <laughs> send <laughs> yeah i mean it, it's it's sort of it's sort of the exact same thing right so one person had an opinion and then you prove that opinion wrong yeah, I, maybe in my head, anything I do, well, fuck, I don't dude, know. I just think it, it, this They're is both just, not great. Dude, this is just my take. I think like the not funny to me is worse because it was in person. Yeah. In a yeah, situation yeah. where like you're that literally. Would hurt any, you're, like sexually, not sexually, even dude, if you're at a Dairy Queen, you're like, you're not funny. You're like, what? Why would you say this? Right. But then you up it by 10x when you're literally getting your pants pulled down. Yeah. Like she's literally going like this. And then she just looks up at you, and then it's like, okay, this is going to be a disease, or I love you. Well, she had a disease. A yeah. mental disease. Yeah. Too many sweet teas, this fucking <laughs> stupid country bumpkin idiot. <laughs> this really is like a Joker origin story. But what yeah. about, what about... Uh-oh. Here's, I, I what it, like, like, this is all fairy tale. We go to Columbia, South Carolina, and bomb the whole place? No, they have hot women there. Dude, here's the thing. Aside from this woman... South Carolina, yeah, is packed, chock Where full. Where the Outer Banks are? That's North Carolina. It so doesn't matter. They're all the Carolinas, dude. North and South. Hey, what about East and West? Cooter. I'm bombing. <laughs> 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 no, I did a show in Charleston, and I forgot that that's like one of those towns. I get out the Sprinter van. I go, oh, hold up, hold on. Where in where in Char- Charleston, Charleston Music Hall? I'm doing next year. It's a great place. I'm excited. It's a, Dude, a lot Charleston, of hot people. Bitch. The uni- is univer- co- no, College of Charleston. God damn. That was like an hey. hour and a half away from where I went to school. We went there one time. Or we went there twice. Chock full of kuda Yeah, no. I, I'm walking out and like I just see just groups just walking. Yeah. And I'm like, hold up. No dudes? They ain't got no dudes. What? They killed them with their hot cooter. Yeah. They waterboard them with their pussy. Yeah, luckily, I struck out that night. So. Oh, yeah, of course. That's what happens. Any town that's full of three women is 400 DMs. Any town that's like chock full of yeah, hot women yeah, yeah, in yeah. Miami, <laughs> no hoes. That's where I'm going this week. Hey! Ladies. Nah, you got it. What, um, uh, what if you invite her on stage in Charleston and just show her? Like, look, these these people or yeah, these people all came out to see me. She still lives. No, she, she was still right off. She lives, in, she lives in LA. Oh. Really? Mm-hmm. Do you know like her name and you can find what she looks like? 100%. Really? Mm-hmm. Please let me see. Okay. But I'm saying, fairy tale land, you finish your special, you get off stage, and yep. she walks up to you yep. and unzips, and it's your dad. And I go, I did this for you. <laughs> 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 like, but hear me out. In some fucked up, beautiful sense, when moments like that happen, 
at the time, you're like, why the fuck would you say that? That's so messed up, blah, 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 blah. But now you can look back and be like, I am funny. I am successful. Yeah. You know? That is that is crazy. This is where my brain goes, and because nothing's real, this is all a simulation. My brain goes to, was she a plant? <laughs> Not like yeah, not like a no, ficus plant, you know what I mean? Like a, like a yeah, plant. It, yeah, like, yeah. Did, like was did someone along the way be like, all right, did, like whisper that thought into her brain to put it to to inseminate it into me? Of course. So I had the motivation to keep. I it. think my brain has like maybe fifty seven memories tops, but that's <laughs> like too. that's like one of them. It's the same thing that I forever remember so clearly when I was in Target in like twenty sixteen. I'm with my buddy Paul. This girl walks up to me, and we're in line. A girl went to high school with, and she yeah. goes, "Oh, are you still doing your little comedy thing?" Oh God. That moment. I will forever remember. Yeah. Because I was starting to get some traction. I was proud of myself. I finally felt yeah. like I was like, oh, this could be a thing. We're working on it. Are you yeah. still doing your little comedy thing? Boom. That's just, and it's not yeah. as bad you as still you're not funny. Yeah. Like, she is. Like, <laughs> she is. I don't know what she does. I'll tell you um, what she does. Nothing is successful. That was you know, mean. but hey, it's the same thing. I saw somebody write this on Twitter years ago when somebody was, uh, maybe it was like, I don't know who it was, but they wrote, you know me, I don't know you. Right? Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, you're not funny. You're like, hey, you you know about me and my career? I have no idea who you are. I don't know what you do. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. clearly, something here. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah, know no, if that no. example makes sense. <clears throat> no, but, no, but, no, I understand. I understand. Like in the in the future, that you kind of can have that like. Well, just the fact that, that that she was like, you're doing this little comedy thing. I'm like, I have no idea what you're doing. I have no idea. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Making yeah. turkey hands, just tracing them with a crayon. That was so fun. Great. That was so fun. My Fist turkey was it. always so small. Small hands. Yeah. God damn. Why is there so much knocking? Hello. <laughs> Who is that? It's me, Fresh. Hello. Hello, Fresh. Hello, Fresh. What is it? It's America's number one meal prep kit. I am sick of making food. <laughs> I can't deal with it anymore. Sick oh, of it. Grocery stores. Beep a grocery store. Grocery dude. store. More like go fuck yourself store. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm sick of it, dude. And this is why I love. This is why we love. This is why we love Hello Fresh, dude. It comes right to your door. Ding pre dong. Pre-packaged ingredients with incredible, incredible food. And you can just make it yourself, dude. It's great for date night. It's great for just date living alone. Night. It's Awesome, dude. Feel well, also that you live alone. I do. Right? Uh, yeah. I'm just saying hypothetically speaking. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You make it and you go, damn, I got these leftovers. Oh, I don't know. Lunch tomorrow. You ever showing up to the office with more seasoning than employees? Bah, bah, bah. Try it. And what I love about it is they send you the pre-proportioned ingredients so you don't need to buy like a pound of paprika. They just send you a packet. It's like you're just like mixing it all together. They give you the goods. So listen, dude, everybody's busy in 2023, okay? So when life gets busy, don't call for delivery, dude. Make delivery lemonade. so freaking expensive. So get HelloFresh, okay? It's 25% cheaper than takeout and less expensive than grocery shopping too. So just choose your recipes and receive fresh pre-portions ingredients so you can get cooking quick. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 socks and use code 50 socks for 50% off plus free shipping. That is HelloFresh.com. Wait, 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 wait. Plus free shipping? Plus. And 50% off? Yep. That's crazy. So you're telling me if I use promo code 50 socks at HelloFresh.com, I'll get 50% off and free shipping? <laughs> Somebody suck me. I will. America's number one meal kit. Number one meal kit. Number one meal kit. God damn. Why do all women want to measure their hands with mine? I don't know, but it makes I, me. Can you stop it? Uh, Everyone stopped. literally it. happening recently. Yeah, she's stop like, it. Wait. Like, oh, let me see. You and then I felt bad. Hands. And then she like pulled her hand down. She's like, no, yours is bigger. And oh, I'm like, I, I can see. I can see you're doing it. God. Also, I wish you'd just look at my cock. Because that's what you're doing it for. Because here's the thing. I think my, it's not big, but I think, all right, this is, this is going to sound, you guys to make fun of me, but I think, <laughs> I think. Oh, we will. I, I know you. That's why I love you guys. I think that the. Uh, I've gotten way more than there's a couple people that I've hooked up with that listen to this podcast and about two of the three were like, you really downplay your dick. Like it's not like whatever, whatever, <sighs> but that's what, that's what we do though. Have you to. under promise over deliver. Cause if you come out and you're like, Hey, dude, I tell girls I don't even have a cock. <laughs> And they pull my pants down, they're like, you got one of these? That's what I'm saying, dude. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Shit, I thought I had a third leg. <laughs> hey! Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> we need girlfriends! Oh, uh, yeah, I had a, uh, so we were talking about this earlier. But so, so to wrap this up, I think, well, that one, I think you can spin that in a more positive way. Because you turn that into a career. Not based right. off that, but you have a career out of it. Yeah, yeah, If yeah. you did porn, 
that would be your gotcha. wet, wet origin story. But since Listen, you do comedy yeah. as a career, I think that's why it's more powerful. And that's like, it's like, honestly, it's a weird thing to say, but I'm like, honestly, good for her for saying that. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, it was a wild, wild moment. It, well, here's the thing. Both scenarios worked out in my favor. Because if we, if maybe I internalize that I'm not funny and that was the kind of the motivation that I used to get through all this in a subconscious way, awesome. But also the wet, wet girl turned into a great bit and it also turned into the merch I sell on the road. So, <laughs> yeah. so the amount of fucking ROI is nuts. So. Yeah. <laughs> Turn a negative to a positive. That's what I'm saying. That's Drake. life. Yes. Merch. Um, yeah. So I was talking about like sometimes I, I, I feel the same way with you where it's like, when you're doing the sex, which you never can heard of, you it. can Google after the show. You want to be more serious. It's hot, and I don't know what what happened, but I was a few drinks deep with a lady. Ooh, we're having fun. Cock fun is, is out. fun. Tits are flying. <laughs> can I can I get in here real quick? What is it about having like two drinks where you go? It's cock time. <laughs> and like you lose that, that like slight <laughs> loss of inhibition is well, so I fun. I think you're just both like, it's loosey goosey. Yeah. You're having fun. You're riffing. Hey. hey. Oh, oopsie on, daisy. Now. A tin fell out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's just, well, I also think what it is is just like the, uh, um, it's almost like a candle burning in a sense of like time. It's like when you're like this much deep in a drink, you're like, oh, we're kind of riffing. We're having fun. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's like yeah. we're settling in. Yeah. When you first meet up on a date, it's, hey, how are you? How's your son, daughter? Do you have one? You don't know. I don't know. Uh, how was college? You know, you don't know. You're yeah, just yeah. kind of going. But this is like, you're like, that's like the level of like the, like a, um, I don't know. It Turn just, key. Yeah. It just feels like the date's like progressing. And then you're both on, you're both on that drink too. And you're like, oh, I'm feeling it. You feeling it? Let's yeah. get another drink. Boom. So that's Wah. actually a great point. It's like the comfort level and the drink level when they hit at the same yeah. time. They go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when areolas start to come out. Hey, peekaboo! Here's peach my cock. That curry, huh? I don't know. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I saw a peach in the can. Uh, but anyways, this woman has informed me that she can only get off when she uses a vibrator, and I get it. Why is this a theme in your life? I don't know. I don't like it. I want to hate out. it. I want to hate it. I, but I think it's really funny when a woman brings in a vibrator in sex. It's like your dick's on an episode of Bar Rescue, and they're like, <laughs> we'll bring in the extra help. <laughs> <laughs> like It feels like the vibrator is just John Taffer being like, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help. Dude, there's, been a, there's been a few times where a girl will bring out a vibrator, and I'll be like, let me... Let me just try first. Really? Yeah, man. Let, give me a second. Because you take it nah, out too early. I'm the opposite. I'm, nah, bro. No, you take it out. Mario we're Kart hit the gold star. We're 30 seconds in and you yeah, think you as soon as she can come, away. I can come. I hear you, but then, but in my head, I'm like, I didn't do it fully. I sort of helped. This all goes back to that woman telling you that you're, you're not funny. funny. How is that? It's just like you got to you got to will. Yeah. I will conquer. I will conquer. No, here's the thing. Here, yep. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If my car runs out of gas uh -huh. and I'm in the middle of an intersection and one person's helping and another person comes to help, would you be like, no, I got it. I'm using all the help I can get. Let's get this car to the gas station. Car being a Volvo or a Volva. Let's tell him again. <laughs> <laughs> car. But, but do you want, I want. Just, I wanted uh, to do it again. I, whatever, however quick or however fast or long yeah. it takes for her to get off. Yeah. I want her to get off. That's it. Feminist. I'm an ally. So what, how, dude, fuck it. Bring in the neighbor. I don't give a shit. Bring it. Get. <laughs> he's old. All right. Let me help next time. Yeah, I got you. Bring a vibrator. But so in my head, I'm Can like. we fuck I, together once? Or is yeah. that just so weird? No. You know what's so weird is I think I could do it. Really? Do I want to fuck I you? I would laugh. I would start laughing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no I way, I would start dude. laughing because I, the only time I ever see you is in like a funny regard. Yeah. I think with the first time I saw you in like sexual land when you're being like, be my little cum yeah. guzzler yeah. princess. I'd be like, yeah. and I'd be talking this, to an Xbox too. Live gamer tag? Yeah. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways. I'm so sorry. Good. But this is still in a fun sec. Not, no, no, no it, we're getting sexual. Oh, yeah. It's hot and bothered. Oh, you yeah. know it's hot when like half a light's on, doors are flying open, yeah. TVs are on. One shoe's on. Yeah, Postmates still knocking. Exactly. Yes. And I don't know why, but a little vibrator, probably about the size of... My cock. Yeah. <laughs> it's this big lady's <laughs> right in. It's like one of those little, like, it, like, it looks like a tuba chapstick type Got of it. thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And she starts, she's using it on herself, and I 
And I like start like a smirk and I laugh. Uh oh. And she's like, What are you what are you laughing about? And I go, Oh, the vibrator just kinda sounds like a didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Ladies, next time you use a vibrator, listen, it's kinda just going <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty good impression. And what does she say? She goes, Why would you say that? I and then she goes, now then she started laughing. She's like, This is all I can think about. And she goes, Can you turn the music off? Now all of a sudden I'm fucking a tray songs. Now everybody's coming. I just thought it was a really funny moment um, because then I almost kept breaking. Like, like just. Uh, yeah, it's so laugh. hard to stay in it, too. Because I hear that now every time. She's like, no, now I'm going to laugh. And I'm like, oh, no, put on the music. Yeah, you got you have to almost get her like a different vibrate now that doesn't sound like that or something. Yeah, one that no, just sounds like a diesel. Yeah, something. Or Are there silent ones? There's got to be silent ones. Silent vibrators? Yeah, because how, how are you going to jerk off when your roommate's in the room? Nah, every time you sound. I think girls know. Yeah. If girls have girl roommates, they're like, yeah, well, your table ain't ready at the Olive Garden. We know what that buzzer is. What is that? Somebody laughed. <laughs> <laughs> what position were you in? Uh, She was on top. She was on top? Yeah. And she was doing... Oh, that's fucking hot. Hot. <sighs> Sexual intercourse. Hot. Oh, oh so your ears are right next to the vibrator. That's probably why I was so loud Wait, for you. No, 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 no. She was on top like this. She was right in my she face. right here. Yeah. Have you read sex before? I don't think so. Haven't <laughs> 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 it really here, so here, right here, and then she was using it on top right there. Yeah. Dude, there's nothing when a girl like gets on top right and then she like leans forward to get like a different angle. What do you mean? Uh, when she, you know you're sitting right there and she's like you're, she's like at a ninety degree angle, like up. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then she leans forward, like oh, towards yeah, you, yeah, yeah, to like yeah. get a different angle. Um I just looking at Ladies, I can't believe that you think a male body is hot because a woman's body is so fucking like in that 90 degree angle. Like, I my point is when they lean over, sometimes I kind of like I put them back up. I'm like, let me just look for a second because it's so fucking hot. Like, the hair is kind of coming down, like covering like one nipple. You got this hourglass thing, these fucking perfect B tits just looking at you. Fuck, fuck, fuck is right. Damn it, fuck is right. God, and they just fucking lick their lips a little bit and fucking just take their god their teeth and a little bite in their goddamn bottom lip, and then they, they, and they fucking. This is there's so many things that, that uh, in sexual activities that are hot that in normal life wouldn't be like when if you're getting the old H E A D, which spells top, <laughs> <laughs> and and but there's like a line of string, a, a spit hot! connected from the mouth to the hot! dick. Little telephone line to spit. Yep. So hot. But if you were having like dinner and she had like a, a spoonful of lobster biscuit, took it out and she had like string, is you better like, well, we we'll get it together. Yeah. What are you having a seizure? I will. That's say, a seizure. I will. There we go. I will say though, if she's looking at you hot while she's eating the lobster macaroni and cheese, she's like this. And fucking, mm, and I, are you eye like contact that? guy or no? Yeah. Hot. I. Now I can't tell them. Somebody put it on to me. They're like, look at me, and I was like. Because well, before that, I wouldn't know where to look. I used to oh, count my hand. No, I'd no. look outside, count no. birds. I'd be, dude, I'd be looking. Dude, girls comment on us sometimes. I like the way you look. Dude, I fuck because I look. Cause but I now look, it's all I, I want. Look, choke, fucking. I take their hair and pull them back so they look up at me. Fuck. Spit on their cheek. Sometimes they spit need on the it. cheek. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, I'd be spitting in faces now, dog. I'm, I'm all over the goddamn place. I'm sad. You're just saying this in a Wheaties hat. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're the real champion here. <laughs> Breakfast Wheaties. champs, semen. God damn. <laughs> Again? Nope. Guys, this next ad, we freaking love it. These are the boys, okay? This is Ship Station. We are know we, them. We love them. We Every love week them, we talk about them. They're dude, great. What are they? In an increasingly automated world, AI is going to take everyone's job and kill everyone in about 17 years, but some things still require tedious manual work. Luckily for e-commerce business owners, shipping is no longer a manual task thanks to who? Ship Station. Okay, save time ship automating station. your shipping and returns in the Ship Station dashboard while keeping costs down with industry-leading discounts. Guys, we say this every time with this ad, but we do merch. We're going to do merch. And every single time we use ShipStation, it's incredible. It saves us money and this saves you money, okay? It's effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and uh, more. And with Enterprise Solution that makes warehouse optimization easy, ShipStation scales when you do. So go to ShipStation.com, use code SOCKS, and sign up for a free 60-day trial. Guys, that's right. I said free 60-day trial, right? That's ShipStation.com and use code 
Socks. Ship station. Make Ro- ship happen. Robots in the ship. God damn. Wheaties are horrible. It's the worst cereal ever. I cannot believe. Why wouldn't they do like Frosted Flakes? Raisin Bran? What are Wheaties just um, like... Uh, raisin Bran with no raisins, right? Wait, no, Wheaties, is that the... Are they like corn flakes. Sque- squares? No, they're not. They're not. Uh, they're not. Uh, Pull it up. What? Uh, uh, fr- it, uh, what's the, the bitch with uh, this a square that's you know, got the frosty on it? No, that you're talking about uh, cinnamon toast crunch. No, frosted uh, mini wheats. Frosted mini wheats are insanely good. They're so and good. They pack a punch. Yeah, oh, that's that. Wheaties. Yeah, they literally just. It's like yo, it those are like mid as, as fuck. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what. Very, very on brand. But it's just weird that like that would be a cereal of like athletes. Well, maybe not. Cause maybe yeah, it's, it's like all, all advertised. You think athletes eat this? They eat fucking ketamine and steroids. Yeah. Dog, you know what I want to do so bad? Hold on. Go back. They have Raisin Bran boxers. Where? Right I would, there. I would, I would wear those. It says swag on top of them. Imagine if that girl pulled your pants down then said, you're not funny. Bitch, There's no way. Raisin Bran. Look at that. Look at my fucking boxers. Penis. Dude, I can't believe she did that. I mean, what a fucking shit bitch of a move. Is she still doing acting? Uh, no. Mm. I saw the improv like. You po- saw her in life? Yeah, probably four years ago. Did she see your she set? She was actually with one of my agents. Was, she did she so see your set that weird. night? Mm, I don't think so. Wow. You know the improv is like you can't. I don't. Out. You don't. Yeah, I have no idea who's in the fucking room. Yeah. I don't think she did. Wow. When I came out, she was gone. She probably saw my set and was like, "Yep, still unfunny," and just fucking left. <laughs> God damn, man. <clears throat> I know. What a, f- what a fucking, what a night, dude. I got on the, and by the way, I didn't even ha- have anything to do. I, you know, I did the whole like, oh, I got to go, fucking things to do. Of course, we're going to hang out and not no. be funny. So I, t- <laughs> so I took the goddamn D train to West Forth, which is like pretty much far away from where I used to live. And I had to take D train all the way the fuck back up to Harlem. Just on the train being like, what am I doing? <laughs> but I think you guys are right. So it, exactly what, uh, what Gabe said. It was like an origin story. Yeah, it's an origin story. One girl. It was no. like the one the, the time I had a guy at the uh, the old 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 comedy club, Marie Calendars, say stick to your day job. He had one of those visors on with the the yep. fake hair, and then he hit me in the dick and rode off in a Vespa. <laughs> it's a hundred percent true. But dude, that's what I'm saying, man. That's why I think like you ever like add up a lot of things from your life, and you go, man, I was meant to do this. Yeah. Like so many like little stepping stones, so many choices that you made to get here. Like so many, dude. Crazy is I was talking to uh, my buddy Neil, who I brought before, Neil Ghosh, and he, we were just kind of like contemplate, uh, we were just sort of like thinking about like my sort of like trajectory or whatever, right? And he was bringing up the fact that he was the one that told me to go to improv space, and that was the first time that we act. We, we knew each other, but it was the yeah, first yeah, time yeah. we actually had like a. Interaction. In an interaction, we talked for like a while that night, and then we did that another, uh, at the other Tau. one. At Tao, yes. So it was, Tao, and then we went to, in Koreatown, there's a yes. Starbucks franchise, but it's not Starbucks. What is it? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. It was, it was one of the coffee shops, but that's, and that's what we had. But but those two interactions, like obviously, obviously we knew each other, but we never like talked, talked. We were like, hey man, what's up? But we never like talked. But that improv space was the first time that we had like a, a like a real, like our, it was a moment where like, well, I realized, I was like, oh shit, this is like. The, the chemistry is like we really work yeah, yeah, yeah. well just on a conversation level. Yeah. Um, but he brought up the fact that he was like, yeah, dude, I, I kind of like forced you to come out that Which night. was just an open mic for people listening. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every, sorry, sorry, every sorry. Monday I, I was there. Yeah. It, was, it was in Westwood by UCLA. I don't know if it's still there, but that was my favorite open mic. I love that fucking mic. I but, remember. Oh, go, go ahead. I was just going to say like, so it's just, it's interesting. Like those are the moments that you, that you sort of forget. But like I was going to stay in that night. And my Neil was like, ah, come on, man, it'll be fun, blah, blah, because it was like far away from my house. Uh, and so, like, uh, those are that. all those like little things that like puzzle piece your life together. Yeah, is crazy. And they're cool because when it's happening, you don't know what it's going right. to turn into. Right, right, and that's just... an, yeah, and that's another reason why, like, sometimes when you like, when and this is, goes out to everyone listening or watching, whatever is like, whenever you feel a bit of a friction towards something, maybe just do it. Like, maybe well, just do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't want to go out that night or you don't want to whatever the fuck, like, maybe that's the moment where this is the beginning of something or... Or just try you, something new. Yeah, or, yeah, or yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I remember, I remember what you were wearing that night. Hold on. <laughs> hey, now. No, I remember... Uh, or, or I don't remember either that night or one of the nights, but you were talking about you had a really... You had skinny jeans and you had a really big oversized coat. 
mm -hmm. or something, and you were doing a a, a a voice talking about living with your girlfriend at the time. Okay. So, do you remember any of that? What that bit might be? Something about like girlfriend. living an organization or something with her or something, or she like bought something new. I don't. But I remember, remember I was standing on the side of the room and I just saw you um, doing that. You had a big, a big like fucking. Do I have a big oversized jacket? I think so. And I, remember I definitely being have skinny like, jeans. I definitely have skinny jeans. Yeah, I remember yeah. being like, this guy, I was like, because usually that mic was just like, just like very, People very. Just bombing, yeah. yeah, but I remember being like, oh, this guy's like successful. Like, what is he doing here? Type of thing. Yeah. I, I, I thought the same thing. <laughs> I loved that room. That no, room the room was, was great. great. That was one of my favorite open Well, mics. dude, that was one of the, the, one of the open mics, <clears throat> which I thought was so cool was it wasn't just comics. Yeah. Sometimes it would be like students or whatever students, coming yeah. through. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. Or so, there would always be like a frat guy who like lost a fantasy bat and be like, "You have to do stand up now, pussy." Yeah, but that was great. Yeah, oh well, yeah, because there was thirty dudes in the front. Oh god, no, that was that, that was great. Um, yeah, man. Well, that's what's also kind of fun about living in Los Angeles for so long, or any place for so long. Uh, there's so many like landmarks. I drove past my old when I lived in a pool house. In when I first I would to love LA. to see that. I please 2015 to 2016, some of that era, but a pool house in the backyard of somebody's house. And it, it was just a room. That's where I had to load up the Wi Fi to watch porn. Yeah, no yeah. bathroom would pee outside every morning. But I drove past it, and you're just like the same way where you're like, I don't even know, where if you could tell yourself when yeah. she's like, you're not funny, if you could be like, don't worry about her. And then get yeah, back to your life. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like seeing that and be like, yeah. hey, somehow when I was sleeping on an air mattress in a pool house and crickets were pulling up every night because there was a gap this big. Jiminy? Uh, yeah, all of them pulling up. So it's like those funny moments like that where, you're, where it's just, there's so many landmarks. You, I constantly drive past like, oh, that used to be an open mic. Oh, that used to be, oh, I got bombed there. Oh, I made a video there. You know, it's yeah. just a lot of. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a constant reminder how fucking long this takes, Doug. Like oh, yeah. that whole thing of being like, oh, overnight success. And then the, the actor, the comic's like, I'm 14 years in. Yeah, you know, it's like finally the public starts to know this person, but it's like, bro, I used to live in a pool house. Like, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Well, there's I so many years where nobody's paying attention, and, and then thank everybody's God, paying attention. Thank God, no one's paying attention. Yeah, yeah. I was eating my dick in front of Irish people in fucking West West Hollywood, in front of the guy doing West West Fourth on Bleecker Street, just <laughs> bombing, four in the morning, bombing. Yo, yeah, yeah. Just doing monster act outs, just absolutely eating dick. Oh yeah. Everyone's like, what is going on? And I wanted to be like, guys, I, I don't know either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. doing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's so many of those gigs. There are always those gigs because when I had a day job, I would just after work go straight to one of these gigs. And yeah. it was either like uh, at an old folks home or uh, <laughs> it was like a, a movie theater, but it was all like elderly people or it was like a rehab center. Um, it's just like some were fun, some were weird. A lot were just like, the fuck am I doing? But you just never really questioned it. The rehab gigs were so – I've done three of them. and I did I, two or three, yeah. I've had people – be like, man, these are really good or really bad. I've never had a good experience. I've always very, very, very much had a very okay time and yeah. felt like I was like just trying to just dredge uh, Well, I think your energy thing. is too much on stage, so it reminds them of their crack days. <laughs> 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 They're like, man, I could be tweaking right now. Why that was I fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he that, on something. Yeah, I wish yeah. I had some. No, I, wow, I, I, so I did two or three. One of them yeah. I really liked, and the next one it was just like I was not connecting with anybody. I, I'll take this back. The ones I did in New York, unfun. There was one I did in L.A. It was at a like a recovery house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's where. Yeah, that's that was that the one you talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about. Yeah, that that was so fun. That was so yeah. fun. But the other ones, I think, you know why? Now I'm actually thinking about this. The ones in New York were. When they first got in, like they, what's it called? When they detox. Thank you, De thank you so much. Yeah, it was a detox house or whatever. So they're not doing great. Detox house. Yeah, it's like when you Is that go. Like the Team Ten house. It's ex the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're there in the early stages. Of... They're not doing. I mean, people are asleep in the back. Like it's they're not doing good. But yeah. that one that I did in L.A. They're just uh, in like in recovery. Yeah, I think so. Maybe the they're ones. past detox. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I would agree. Yeah, but those are so fun. Yeah. Um. Anyways, dude, God damn it, you're not funny. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. Well, look at me now. I'm a <laughs> fucking scientist of semen. Yeah, you Perfect. tell time for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honestly, man, we recount a lot of this shit. I say it's like, bro, get a life. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. I think these are all chapters, and they all 
accumulate to who you are as a characteristic. I do tell time for a living. You tell time for a living. Watch this. How long have we been recording? minutes. How long have we been recording? I'm going to say 41. Wait, what did you say? 58 minutes. What did you say? 41. We've been at, we're at 58, 17. Suck my fucking dick. Wow. That's pretty incredible. You said, wait, you said, what was it? 58 minutes. And you said what? 58. It was 58, 17 when I looked at it. So probably we were at like 58, 08 when he said it. Uh, wait, you got it right? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's blowing you right now? <laughs> Dude, this is, what, this is what happens. This is what happens sometimes on stage when I'll say something. I'll do like, oh man, you're Sydney, right? And she goes, yeah. And everyone, no one cares. Oh, d- oh, no, yeah. no, guys, no, no, guys. I'm a witch. No, 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 and no, no, no one gives a fuck. No, 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 no. Because the, what's funny is that there's so much more doubt with it. People go, ah, they planted that. I remember I, a dude was on a date with, in Atlanta. And I said something about, "Where's your guys' first date? Buffalo Wild Wings?" And they're like, "Yeah, I actually was." And the fact that the crowd didn't be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. I literally I, every time I guess, I yell at them because no one freaks out. And I go, "Guys, yeah. the fact that no one's doing backflips and burning this whole fucking comic up to the ground is bullshit." Well, it's either like a, I'm your god, like no reaction, or it's like, <laughs> or they're like insane. Well, right, so right, I had right, one right. in San Diego. I guess the guy worked at a brewery, which statistically speaking is pretty easy in San Diego. It's vape shop or brewery. You got two choices. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or, or like, or like a really CBD lazy startup. firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Really hot though. You're put out a, a lazy like firefighter. So you're put out a fire in Crocs. Hey, <laughs> just throwing ranch oh, waters shit. at it. It's hot, bro. Yeah, fuck. I just want to take my shirt off. God, me too. Well, should we do it? some sock talks? Yeah, let's do it. God damn. Go ahead, Trev. Today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Nobody likes a weird beard. Nobody. 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 So say goodbye to all your stubble trouble with Manscaped's beard hedger. This thing is a juggernaut, okay, of fixing faces, all right? And first of all, I need it because my beard sucks. First of all, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths. That's incredible, Do you understand that? It's like you just, no clippers, no new shit. You just, you just, you you, you adjust what height you want, 20 different heights. I wish I could adjust my own height. I would be taller. That's right. (laughs) Face grooming doesn't need to be hard, okay? I need to be hard. Get 20 different beard lengths in just one guard, okay? The Beard Hedger is a high-tech piece of art. It is art in a travel size package with long-lasting battery, universal charging, and a strong motor. Your face is your first impression, and your beard is your most important accessory. So make sure you have the right tool for the job with the Beard Hedger. And look, it's Manscaped. You're like, will they just do a beard hedger? No, they do everything. Everything. They do everything. They all got the 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 the, the lawnmower for your down hair beard, for your beard under your waist. We're talking pubescent hair. Trim it up, trim it out. Look, we're going into the fall. So fall off with those trims and those pubes. We're gonna get you back in perfect shape. Dude, they have boxers. Do they have boxers? Do, do, do they have boxers? Do they have shampoo? They do they have, have shampoo? Can do they, they have, have, they have b- 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 deodorant wipes for your balls? I love it. Okay, so From head they to have toe. everything, dude. They have Yeah, exactly. Head to toe. I love it. So toe, get head. 20% off and free shipping with code STIFF at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code STIFF. God damn. Let's do it. Um, also, do you guys want to try? I want to try a new segment. I don't know if there's anything here, but I think it Honey, could be kind of fun. You know what, guys? Right now, everyone's listening. And be like, oh man, they're probably playing this. Nope, I had no idea this was happening. So, I no idea what was happening. So, I, Gabe I had, wants to pitch a new segment. I'm down. So, uh, over the course of an episode, there's a lot of stuff flying. We're looking up shit. We're not going back to stuff. So, I just wanted to see if really quick we want to rapid fire go through some of the open tabs we have. Open Gabe's on the recap. Computer. Ooh, yeah, what just, do we call it? Oh. Oh. What do we call it? <clears throat> Wrapping up the tab? Gabe's check, Gamble. Check, please. Good. Ta- uh, I think tabs is good because it's literally tabs. tabs on a computer. Tabs. Tab, loose uh, tabs. Loose tabs. Great. Let me, let me get a tab. Let me get my tab. Tab. Okay. Open tab. What about open tabs? Guys, it's stiff socks. We're going to go horny. Tits and tabs. Tits and tabs. I like tabs it. And tits. tits and tabs. T- tabs and tits. Right in. What do you think it should be? Okay. Uh, so we just have I a love few this. today. Uh, so this first one is just, this is Elmer, Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd. Oh, she looks annoying. Hold on. Elmer Fudd at a what? Yeah. Sh- he did have a wife. This is her. Oh God! So oh God! Not he's she not. She kind of got a body though. <laughs> yeah, she don't got a body. Yeah, but like she looks like she would tell the DJ like whatever song she wants to hear. Yeah, and it wouldn't be good. It'd be some Christian song. No, she looks annoying. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm saying, dude. Oh, she fucking yeah, body. Up. She'll fucking the deep fuck throw a leave? goddamn carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Why would she always leave in the house if that was a shoddy? Also, how does she walk with that big ass train behind her? Do you know what I mean? Train. Yeah, the 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 thing behind like a long oh, dress oh, 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 yeah, thing, oh, whatever. Oh, oh it's oh, called a train. Oh. Um, so that's that. Cool. She's cool, hot. Cool. I don't uh, care what anyone says. Japanese porn star drowns in semen. 
when did we talk about this? Uh, this actually, this, this page is, not found. Thank God. Yeah, no, <laughs> this I think came from a DM we got. This isn't maybe not related. Um, so that happened. R.I.P. While filming a booth. Hold on, hold on. They hold on. Died? Oh, no, 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 no. No, this is not real. No, Gabe, go back. They're deleting this news from the internet because it's not real. This can't be real. I, this, the only news source that hasn't got deleted is this weird forum, a Malaysian internet forum. So I don't listen, think this dude. Is they, real. These motherfuckers lose planes. They can't goddamn <laughs> keep god news together. Keep that joke in, or I'll kill somebody. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is real. But the story goes that uh, she drowned in semen. That's not true, man. I watch porn all the time. A girl like sticks her face out and goes, "Draw me in your semen." She probably just did that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this looks like it was like an internal drowning, like too much in her in her throat, and she couldn't oh. breathe. Oh, not funny. Yeah, but also not real. I don't. Okay, yeah, this is not real. Just for our own morals, this is not real. Yeah, um, we've got this is <gasps> the, fuzzy, the fuzzy dresses. Oh, yeah. Is this what you're talking, talking about? about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot bottom fuzzy. Yeah. God, yeah damn. Do you want to? I'm so sorry to derail this a bit. Do you want to just look up gold uh, mini dress? And I don't want to sh- just tell you which one it was. It was that, but just gold. Tighter. It was that, but gold just wait. It was like tan tighter, skin. dog. Fuck. Yep, that. And she had gold stilettos. God. That was what she was wearing when she told you you weren't funny? Fuck, yeah. Bitch looks like an Emmy. I know, she looks like a fucking Oscar, this idiot. <laughs> All right, and last so tab. Upset. Last tab. Uh, gay porn studio under fire for using a didgeridoo as a dildo. So, uh, <laughs> under fire. They sound like didgeridoos. Apparently, uh, you can use one. You can use one. Why are they under fire? They should get a fucking Emmy. This is incredible. Quote, I'm going to yeah, didgeridoo fire you in the ass. I, honestly, this, if that's not the title, I'll kill myself. <laughs> it sounds like a Trevor Wallace quote if I've ever heard that. <laughs> I'm going to didgeridoo you in the ass. Mountain Didgeri- didgeridoo it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that sounds like the new Nike porn. Um, Guys, we'll wow. together. Yeah, we'll figure out a name for... Uh, I love this, though, by the untouched way. Untouched Tabs. Untouched Tabs. That's untouched great. Tabs. I like that. I love it. I Touch had my one tab? tab up. It was uh, Rule 34 uh, Raisin Brand. <laughs> What's rule 34? Do you remember that? The porn website it shows you everything that can oh, be. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't even know if I want to see it. I do. I 100% want to see it. I guess I'll. You can have they asked if you had your cookies? Shut up. Raisin Bran. Uh, mine's not no. finding any. What do you mean? He's eating ass right there. Right there. Wait, That's, the <laughs> That's the sun. That's the sun. Sweet frosty dicks. That's a lot of fucking raisins. What is that, dude? I don't like uh, these again. Yeah. yeah, these are so weird. Yeah. Psych. Send me the link. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Sock talk time. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a submission here from Riley. Can we he- take that off the screen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the raisin brand dick was still up for that. Uh, all right. So this is from <laughs> Riley, and he says, "I went to Amsterdam last summer. Did a tour. Found out that the lights What's tour? The, yep. the lights of the red district are red because a majority of the women had chlamydia, and it helped to hide the rashes when they stood in the windows. We'll throw up. But this is not not current day. This is back when this was started. Oh, oh. So that was the that was the that reason was the original was right. reason for it was that <laughs> it hid uh, symptoms of, of STIs. <laughs> Can we? Real quick, maybe we touched on this before. Why the fuck was it STDs and now it's STIs? Why did they change it? Because fucking TikTok was invented. Oh, and STI like, oh, was a STI. Subaru. Say it again. I thought it was a Subaru. <laughs> there isn't a difference is the answer. Yeah, but why the fuck they change it? But if you remember, the, the doors were red, but the upstairs not. Black, which is really weird. Why would you do black? Black light? Well, where I fucked. There was, I didn't even fuck, but everything was black. Oh, the sheets? Was it red in the room? You had sheets? <laughs> I didn't, dude, the, the, the beds that I saw, yes, I said S, beds, uh, yeah, fucking yeah. judge me if you want. Multiple beds, multiple prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, it was like the- Sex workers. What'd I say? You said sex workers. I did? You said prostitutes. Is prostitutes not okay? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not funny, so- <laughs> No, the you know the doctor beds when you go to the doctor and you sit on those beds. Yeah, like the there's like a little cushion. Oh yeah, that's that's the yeah, beds. Yeah, yeah. That I, that, is that what you had too? If you tell me you had an actual bed off, no, I'll, it was like a cot. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, like yeah an yeah. army cot. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Good. I was Dude, just checking. What if? Uh oh, the girl that hit you with the squid hand looked at you when you couldn't get up. She goes, oh, "You're not funny." <laughs> I'd be in prison. <laughs> I'd be in Amsterdam prison. What do you think Amsterdam prison is like? It's got to be like Probably nice. in a houseboat. Funny. Probably. 
Let's um, go so back. Th- so real quick, the reason why the difference is um, STI is more accurate because not everyone with an infection develops the symptoms turning it into a disease, but you still have the infection. Oh, I understand. So you can, if you have an STD, you have an STI, STI but you can have an STI without having an STD. Whoa. All right. I mean, this is too specific. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Do I have chlamydia or not? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, that's like, oh, it was an STI. Right? Who gives a shit? Why am I itching? Why does it feel like a dragon's fire when I pee? I never had any of that. Nothing? No. Wow. Isn't that kind of weird? For like, has, has anyone, has anyone had something? No. Mm-mm. Isn't that, cr- re- really? No one? I mean, I definitely want to. That's wanna, insane. I definitely want to go take a peek under the hood after Amsterdam and hear that secret sock ride in, but <laughs> I mean, I'm not stoked on that ride in. <laughs> I could have gone a lot more of my life not knowing that. It didn't happen. What? For me, it didn't happen. I didn't go. <laughs> oh, okay. I love how you just gaslight yourself. <laughs> no, God. dude. I didn't I, am, I am so good at gaslighting myself. Nope, didn't happen. Didn't happen. Uh, you know how we went? We put on the fucking meta glasses and we went. Yeah, mm-hmm. we never I left. I was in Van Nuys this whole time. Um, all right, guys. Secret Sock Anonymous Submission says, uh, Women can't make me come, but when I jerk off, I can come. What should I do? That is a thing that happens to a lot of men. Really? Yeah, I mean, can you grow you grow up just jerking off, and so that's how you're used to coming. And then when a woman enters the picture, it's not it's obviously not the same. They're not doing it exactly how you do it. So you like you you make yourself have the availability to only come when like the way that you do it. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, too, it's like a death grip too. Like you're yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. the grip so of it, much yeah. fucking pressure. I think that's what I've what I, what I've read is that is the main thing. It's like the actual like pressure. So I think what you could do is let uh, a female know that you like it. Like the like the pressure you need like more. It's like getting mm. a massage. It's like you some some masseuse do a little one, some masseuse do like a nice hard one. You have to like let them know that you like it a certain way. Um but but yeah, I think I literally just think it's just I know I say this all the time, I think it's just honestly communication. Just like this is more this is more what I like. So I, I think I don't think uh But is he even but he's still getting hard around women, right? He's still like getting it, chubbed yeah, up. Yeah, it just sounds like he can't come. But I'll, I've done it before. I think it's actually kind of fun and kind of hot sometimes, like to not, uh, not like finish with sex, but like finish with like I'm like with a woman and like, yeah, that is off. fucking like, hot, dude. So, when it you're both so doing hot. it, she's yeah. playing with herself. You're doing oh, it. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah. Fuck that sucks. Yeah. Sex is cool as shit. <laughs> 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 Say it's not. It is hot. Well, it's funny that if you're doing it by yourself, lonely. But if you do it with someone, like if you're drinking all by yourself, it's so sad, so lonely. But then if somebody else is doing it with you, you're like, oh, it's so fucking hot. We're both the fucking. Yeah, and you come at the same time. You come over her hand while she's hand. Dude. What do you mean? No, come over her hand. Oh, while she's fucking. Bra, 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 and you, she's coming. She's coming, fucking, and you're like, and you just all over her hand and her vagina. I be coming on vaginas. I love it. Someone say something to me. <laughs> Seems risky. You're, yeah. No, on. I know, but, yeah, but on that's is so too close. close. To in. You don't think they don't have a map? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, think about that. They don't know where to go. Uh, wh- wh- what do you? How do you think gravity works? Oh, she's standing up. Oh, it's gonna rah, get in the crevice. Yeah, but that, it has to go in, in. Right. Who knows? Maybe she like sneezes really hard after, and it like, goes out and then in. Okay, I will definitely agree with you that it's. It, is it? More risky to come on than like come on the ground, of course. But I don't think the chances of one sperm being like, oh shit, they get into a Nissan Maxima and drive into the cooch. They have to go in there. Cut to nine months later. <laughs> don't do that to me. <laughs> Sorry, knock on wood, knock on wood. Wood, wood, wood. Um, it actually says the risk is very low because sperm can only live for a short time outside the body. So, but it would, I guess, if she's at like an <clears throat> angle where it's like swimming down. Yeah. It could. It is possible. It's definitely possible, but I think yeah. the chances are very low. What's crazy to me is like there's all this like um, talk and fear about like accidental pregnancies and stuff. But then when you talk about like the actual science yep. of someone yep. getting pregnant, yep. like it seems difficult. Like Dude, every, you got to be ovulating. You got to yep. be like certain time of the month. I saw yeah. Schultz the other day on stage, and he had a whole bit about like he's like, bro, leave it in. I've been trying. Ain't nobody getting pregnant. He's like, leave raw dog in. Yeah. Fuck it up. But I'm in my head. I'm like, oh, I like this guy. I trust him. <laughs> Not a good way to do it. No, it's not. I mean, but you think about that, but then you also think about the millions and millions of fucking teen pregnancies and all that kind of shit. So it's like, you know, it's it's de- like it's hard, but you can do it. Yeah. You can do it a lot. Oh, yeah. 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 And I guess it's just a numbers game, too. Like over the course of years, like taking Correct. off risks, like eventually you're going to hit the jackpot. 
Yeah. There was only one girl that would just like, just right consistently. In. So hot. Well, that the problem is once you, I've said this before, but like she had like one of her kinks was like to get cummed in. So she like let me know about it and we did it once. And then I was like, cool, I guess that's where we're going to live now. Because it is better. Don't do it, everyone. But it is definitely better to come oh, yeah. in, like, um, to some people. I, I don't know. I, if I had, well. It just feels like you're finishing a race in the marathon. You cross that ribbon, and then you just fall into a mattress. Like, when you finish in. Yeah. But when you finish on, like, the stomach, it feels like you finish the race, and then you go to the right-hand side, and then you find, like, somewhere else to sit. I like, this is this is weird. I like to come on. But the feeling right after you come on is fine. The feeling that you have when you come in, post come in and your dick's in there, is so much better than than when your dick's outside. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Okay. So I think the feeling I like better coming on, but I'd rather have my dick docked in those moments afterwards. Dick docked. <laughs> yeah. Dick, dick docked is docked. a good title. That's something else. Short. Oh, dick docked. <laughs> yeah. That's Shout out the Mormons. You're doing something else. I is that Mormons that. that do docking? Yeah, I, think I so. want to try that. No, I thought I think docking no, is you docking. dock in a cock. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, two. That's, not, it's two dicks. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the original airdrop. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in. But what's they the one where did. They... There we're it is. Doing that's comedy so right now. We are funny. <laughs> I want to try. The, funny. I want to try the one where I'm in a bunk bed. And my like roommates like kicking underneath. <laughs> yeah, what's that called again? Uh, Loser. It's, no, it's because they also have. They'll shake the mattress. I think it is called docking. No. No. Type in Mormon soaking. What a the, weird... Yeah, docking, I think, is two uncircumcised yep. penises. I think it's just one un uncircumcised. Oh, yeah, and the... One, yeah. yeah. The double dock goes crazy, though. <laughs> yeah. Then it's just two banana peels trying to fucking fit into, into each other. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Airtight. Soaking is hilarious. Also, that's why Christians got it done the best. Fuck them in the booty. Not real. Didn't lose virginity. Isn't that crazy? Didn't you lose virginity? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> been fucking sitting in the ass since fucking sophomore high school. Yeah, still got it. <laughs> That's crazy. Is that real? If you bang it in the butt as a dude, can you? Are you still a virgin? As a woman, technically, I guess you are. But as a dude, I get. I mean, it feels like you, like you know how people smoke K two weed. They do that Facts. instead of weed. It yep, feels yep, yep. like you're in and around. Yeah, I think if I was a young lad and I would, I was blasting butt. It's funny. <laughs> blasting butt. <laughs> and I was blasting butt. I would say that I'm not a virgin. I mean, that's sex. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But well, uh, it depends on who's asking. If 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 Sister Mary is like, did you do sex? I'm like, no. Correct. But if the homie Keith is like, you be fucking, I'd be, like, be fucking. Yeah, smell my dick. Put <laughs> dussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a is podcast. That a, is that a podcast? podcast? That's a journey. <laughs> That we this, always went on. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it, man. Thank you so much for listening and watching. We really appreciate it. Friendly reminder, we have a Patreon for extra episodes. Drops every freaking Friday ad-free. And it's available on Spotify now. And it's available on Spotify. Yeah, so existing patrons, you guys can now listen on Spotify if you listen to the regular podcast there. And if you're just a Spotify user on the regular feed, uh, there's a little banner you can click now. Um, and it integrates real easy to, to get those bonus episodes on Spotify. Fuck yes, you can get them on Spotify. You can get them on just the regular patreon.com backslash SipSocksPod. And we have a SipSocks Plus on Apple. Um, all the same content, uh, all the same price. So just jump on there however, uh, which way you want to. And uh, come see me and Mr. Wallace on tour as well. And again, for the 12th time, we love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, till next motherfucking Wednesday. Uh, bye.